Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 42 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm hanging out pretty much all alone on the server at the moment, but I do have, there is a special guest who has joined us on TeamSpeak. There. Hello, special guest! Hello! Soren! Hello! How's Finland, buddy? Good. Good? Everything's exploding. <laughs> Everything's exploding? You've been there for like a couple days and now things are exploding? What did you do? <laughs> Maybe just my studio or connect. Okay. <laughs> I haven't the world yet. Yeah. One day. Um, my automated stuff with Deep Resonance is like kind of being derpy because Deep Resonance is being a little bit derpy lately. Like some machines are not working until I break and replace them and that is causing heartache. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not enjoying it. But that's okay. It will, it will get better. One day. Yeah. So as a result, we're like out of power throughout the base. So I quickly came in here and like threw some resonating crystal in here and got stuff going. I'm trying to figure out like what is the derpiness of it. Like this valve stops working unless I break and replace it. And the crystallizer doesn't work unless I break and replace it. But like other valves are okay. Like this one works just fine. It's very weird. It's not linked to server restarting, is it? It may be the server restarting. It's very possible. I, I don't know what's causing it. But now I'm concerned. Also, um, I don't know. T-Love has this uh, crazy sugarcane set up going, and um, it keeps being a little bit derpy as well. And I have to, like... I fixed it. Like, liquids were going into the places that they shouldn't have been, and, like, this whole, like, rocket fuel setup stopped working, but it's fixed now. So I've just been doing a little maintenance off camera for the time. I just like the confidence in the voice. I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it, I think. Maybe. I didn't do like a perfect job of fixing it, but it's fixed. Let's put it that way. Let's go to the workshop. We started IC2 the other day too, by the way, Soren, which was cool. Yeah, I saw a video went up for Industrial Craft. I didn't watch it yet. Yes, no, like we just started it. Let me tell you, like, like, like the video I'm recording right now will go live tomorrow oh, yeah. on my channel. I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> yes, I'm quite behind on backlog, but that's what happens. Yeah, I was in. Uh, I had jury duty all week. It was actually, you know what? It was really cool going through the jury duty process. Um, it was just very impactful on my day-to-day -day schedule. What was the movie called? Twelve Angry Men. Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Was it anything like that? Um, I don't know that I've ever seen that movie, but. It sounds like the men were angry, and we were not angry. So I don't know if that answers your question, but... <laughs> Basically, someone was convicted guilty. 11 out of 12 people were like, Yeah, let's just get him over with and leave. And one person was like, No, no, no. Hold on. And everyone wound up changing their verdict. Um, right, so... The way it worked was... Um, in a criminal case, it needs to be 100% unanimous. This was a civil right. case, and it needs to be... Oh. Um, Five sixth majority, so ten out of twelve of us needed to agree, and um, we deliberated for about three or four hours, and uh, we were at eleven out of twelve, so that was enough for us to wrap it up. Fair enough. Yeah, so it was cool. It was it was interesting. Um, anyone who has not gone through jury duty ever before and is just interested in what the process is like, I recommend giving it a shot because. I mean, not that you get like to like volunteer or anything, but like if you ever get chosen for jury duty, I would I would suggest that you take it seriously, and um, you know it's an interesting process to go through. It's very much, it's very cool. It was neat. Like I, when I got picked, I was like, oh, this is gonna be awful. But like actually sitting through it all, it was like, man, this is uh, it's fascinating to see like because yeah. like you see plenty of TV shows and movies about like what courtrooms are like, but when you're actually like in one for real and things are actually happening, and it's not Matlock, then, you know what, oh, it's a little bit different than what's on TV. Slightly. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly different. Um, I mean, some things are accurate, and, you know, obviously, yeah. just like movies, you know, some things are not, so, but it was neat. So, I'm now just kind of checking on my power system. I need to come up with a better power system, because Deep Resonance is cool, but we have nowhere near enough resonating crystals. Right. Like, we have one resonating ore left. Like, how do you get that sustained at all? Because if you can't get renewably... <laughs> What's that? 
I was, I was wondering how you get the crystals renewably if you can at all. Ah, uh, to my knowledge, there is no renewable way to get crystals. It's just yeah. mining. Ooh. Right, so I'm gonna have to activate our quarry at some point here to get more resonating ore. Uh, but I don't even know if that world is active because I don't know if Wild's been on to keep things going lately. So we're just gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. And every time the server restarts, I lose my extra utility sharing with, with T Love. 110 is definitely more stable than 189 was, but there's still a few bugs in some of the mods. It's getting there, though. Bugs? No. I know. But, I mean, from all that I've seen, it looks like the mod community of mod developers is really hoping that 1.10 becomes the next 1.7.10, where it's like, this is the stable version right. that we're on, right? And. Like, end the story. This is us. We're doing it. So, that's the impression I get, unless Mo Yang does something crazy in the next few days and announces 111, but I haven't seen any indication that that's going to happen, so. And the 112. After 111. Well, I mean, Microsoft does own them now, and they do like skipping numbers every now and then. <laughs> um, uh, so, I have to figure out what I'm going to do today. Bants. Um, I wanted to do some generator work. Um, I did get some progress made last night playing in single player, but I think I want to do a little bit more of that before I decide whether I'm just going to go straight up geothermal power or if I'm going to go the complex system. Um, so let me jump into single player real quick, do a little bit of testing, and then we're going to come back and decide which power generation system we're going to use for now. And then, of course, we will probably use other ones as well. So um, I, I probably want at least a couple wind turbines. And to be honest with you, we do have the resources for a decent wind turbine system. Because um, there's like different kinds of windmills, right? What is it? So I should be able to get the top tier one, I think. Or at least close to the top tier. Where is the windmill thing that I'm looking at? Um, it might be made with carbon plates. Carbon rotor blade, yes, that's probably what we're looking for. Rotors, yes, rotors. All right, so wood, iron, steel, and carbon. I presume carbon to be the best. And all that really needs is a bit of steel and carbon, and that doesn't sound too terrible. And carbon's really just carbon plates, which is really just coal by way of um, either coal dust or coal powder from Ender.io. So just because we have a lot of coal. Let's start. Is this gonna, yeah, nice. All right, I'm gonna definitely cook this up because I think I wouldn't mind windmills. That would be cool. But we're gonna come back in a minute here and see what we can see. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so I've made a wind meter here uh, off camera because I decided to go with wind power. I really messed around with steam power for a long time and I came to con two conclusions. One, there's some weirdness that I can't figure out and I need to either ask player or one of the other IC2 devs how it works. And two, at this point, it seems like it's hardly better than just doing geothermal power, um, especially because it actually uses lava um, because steam requires heat and there's a couple ways to make heat. If you make heat with EU, like we're doing over here, it's actually inefficient and it like makes it to the point where it's not even worth doing the steam power. Uh, the other way to make heat really is with lava and uh, at that point, you're basically using lava to make EU, and lava geothermals are cool. So I might do the steam generator later once I get a better handle on it. But for now, I think what we'll do, uh, now we do have a decent amount of power in here. Probably burned out my coal blocks that I put in there earlier. As you can probably guess, it's been a while. Um, I had a little break between last segment, and I also wound up um, doing a lot of testing in my single player world. So, uh, one of the things I want to do is charge up my wind meter so I can get an idea of how much wind we're looking at. So, if I were standing outside here, 5.1 MCW. Now, can I fly? Yes, I can. Cool. 7, 8, 9. Cool. So, pretty much the higher we get, I want to get an idea here of what we're looking at. 12. Okay, cool. So as I recall, so it looks like Y level 160, let's say. Okay, so Y level 160 is where the wind is the strongest. Now out of curiosity, is it any better 
like in other areas? Or is it pretty much that's the golden zone? So I mean higher, yeah, no, but definitely if I'm at like Y level 160. Oh, look at this, it dropped, right? I'm still at 160? Yeah, I am. Yeah, 9.6, look at that. Huh, okay, cool. So actually where I happen to be is not terrible in terms of wind. You know what, it might just be time of day too, because I it, I'm still low again, so. Oh, huh, my thing burned out. I guess holding right click is not the ideal situation. I didn't even realize I was burning through that EU so fast. That's hilarious. But wind power, I think, is absolutely the direction I'm going to go. Um, so let's see. I'm going to get back up to Y level 160. Oh, cool. Now it's even higher. Look at that. Neat. All right. So I'm thinking that 160 is still, like, the sweet spot, right? So 16.8 is what it's at. So wind probably fluctuates throughout the day. I know it fluctuates with weather. So 160 is where I'm going to want to be. So let's get some things to get up there. So first off, we're going to want some bricks. Stone bricks. Um, and I'm thinking we might just run it like right down the back here. And T Love's going to be like, Dire Wolf! What did you do? But that's okay. That's what he gets for living with me. Will the build to me function of the CAD... Yeah, place line normal. Aha, look at that. Neat. Okay, cool. This is, without a doubt, the best way to build ever invented by mod developers. So we are now at Y level 160, and if I take a wind measurement, 16.8, any higher is going to be lower. And any lower is going to be lower. Nice. All right. So this is probably exactly where I'm going to want to put my wind turbine, right? Um, now, let's see. How am I going to want to build these and how many? That's the question. I'm going to start with one and then we'll go from there. All right. So let's get our first wind generator, shall we? Uh, we're going to want our um, metal former in extruding mode and we throw blocks of iron in there. That's step one. Step two, while that's cooking, will be to get a crafting table out and make ourselves one of these dudes cool basic machine casing and then get ourselves an iron shaft which is required for the kinetic wind turbine and that should be what we need to do uh, so this with these two yields a wind turbine sweet so that's step one uh, step two will be to get rotors so there's four types carbon being the best uh, so minimum 20 MCW, minimum 17, minimum 14, and minimum 10. Interesting. So my concern is that there's a minimum on this, right? So it, like right now it's going good. We're at like, we are at 20, but a little bit ago we weren't. So if the minimum is 20 on the carbon one, Max 110. See, we saw as, as low as 12 before, didn't we? So that's concerning to me. Well, I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm going to make a carbon one. Like right now we're at 28, which means we'll probably get a lot of power. Um, but... Mm. So let's see what's involved in making a carbon one. We're going to need four carbon plates, which we're going to need basically nine sets of raw carbon mesh. And raw carbon mesh is eight coal powder. Right. Good thing I macerated up a bunch of coal. So let's take and put away some junk that we don't need at the moment. So you... I'm kind of trying not to put too much stuff away because I know I'm going to want a lot of things in a minute, but we'll see. Moving wand, I probably don't need you at the moment. Scythe, that's fine. Um, I am not going to need elemental affinity at this moment or divination. Should have my sentient armor ready. That should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. One, two, three, four. Large amounts of coal go into the production of this stuff. 
I want this and this, and that should be cool, and that should be good, right? So carbon, so we're gonna need four of these times nine of these, which is 36. So we have pretty close to the amount that we're gonna need. Uh, let's get over to the IC2 area, because we're gonna need our compressor to start cooking up a good amount of raw carbon mesh. And because this is gonna take a bit, let's see if I can speed it up a little bit. Yep. Is that cool? Hey, nice. I don't like it. Yep. Double nice. Cool. Sorry, player. <laughs> Not sorry. Uh, all right, cool. So that is carbon plates. So we'll get a handful of them. So in total, we need 24. Nice, just enough. So we want rotor. So like I said, we're trying the carbon one. We'll see how it goes. That's done. Now the other thing we're going to want is a steel shaft, which I can only assume is going to be something like this in here. That, I presume, is the steel shaft. The other one I might need is this guy. So that's an iron shaft with steel rotor blades, which don't seem too terrible. So, I mean, either way, right? We can go however we want, but for now, we're gonna get you. Nice. And then we're going to fly up top. So how's my wind speed at the moment? See, now I feel like it's a little bit, it's good. I think we should be above 20 by the time we get up there, right? Yeah, we should be cool. Oh no, you know what? We're not, we're at 19.2. Well, that's good because that's going to help me to understand what's gonna happen. Is this going to rotate at all or no? That is the question uh, for the ages. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna wanna run my line down here. So the wind turbine is gonna need to go here. And I'm going to wanna shift click that dude, I think. Rotor is missing. Nope, that's correct, right, okay. Wind too weak for rotor or overlap, okay. So that's interesting. That's a new mechanic. Uh, in the past, I don't remember wind being too weak. I just thought rotors were better one way or another. So that's good to know. All right, so the other thing we're going to need is a kinetic generator, which I don't know exactly what's involved in making this thing. Another iron shaft. Oh, look, it's running, cool, neat. So I'm gonna take the rotor out because right now it's wasting power, right? Boom, pop down to there. Iron. I know I have iron blocks handy, but I'm just doing it because it's quicker. Metal former. Kinetic generator. Wow, I don't have nearly as many things as I had hoped I would. So tin item casings. Do we have hammers? Did I make a hammer? Did nice, cool. So kinetic generator requires you. That's good enough for now. We'll let all that stuff go away, and then generator, which just needs a battery. Furnace and machine casing. Sweet. So kinetic generators, perfect. All right, and then the only other thing we're going to need is some more cable. Copper and extruding mode, please. You, goodbye you, it was nice knowing you. Um, and then rubber, we're gonna want a handful of rubber. I'm thinking we're gonna want, what Y level am I at right now? 64, and we're going up to 160. So you're basically gonna want 100 insulated copper. I have no idea, so this can do 128 EU per tick. I don't expect there to be that much EU. By the way, 
glass fiber, what do you cost? So we get nine energy M dust for four redstone or for four gold for four diamond. Yeah, it's a decent amount of diamond to make glass fiber cable, especially if I'm gonna want a hundred of it. It's gonna be brutal. Um what are some other cable options here? 0.4 EU per block, 0.2 EU per block, and that's 0.8. And 10 is probably lower, right? That's HV. Where's 10? 0.2. Yeah, 0.2 EU per block. So copper is really the best, unless you get to 0.025. Yeah. Fiber is really the best, but short of using a hugely large amount of diamonds. Yeah. No biggie. Okay, uh, a little bit more. I'll be back in a second when this is done running. All right, guys, we're back and we're running power cords. Hooray! The good news is I've mostly already run all the power cords. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of a rendering bug. They're supposed to look like this. They sometimes look like this. I don't know what that's about, but I'm going to report it. Um, I also think there might be a newer version of IC2. <laughs> But let's give this thing a try and see how much RF per tick. Uh, so the other thing is, let's see what power, 24 wind. All right, so that's a good amount of wind. So let's put this in. I think we want to hit this guy with the wrench. Ah, get back here, you. Maybe I didn't want to hit him with the wrench. Might be a shift click. Oh, I forget. One of them has like a power output side and one of them has the kinetic input side. Um, I think that's the power side. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna put my wind turbine in. Cool. Rotor health 99, 215 KU, wind generator output. There we go, that's the power side. Sweet. Ah, 53, nice. Well, that's kind of exciting. It's a decent amount. However, I want to do some math with you. You ready for math? Math is fun. 0.2 EU per block times 100 blocks is 20 EU per tick. This will go from 53 EU per tick to 33 EU per tick if I run cables all the way down here. And holy cow, that burned up the entire cable line. That is probably not so bad. I'll live. Um, so let's do something a little better, shall we? Hello, Diamond Dust. What is Direwolf doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm gonna get more Diamond Dust. Uh, I want four more of these guys. Diamonds times four, please. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. You ready? This to this to this. Into my compressor you go. Speed things up because YouTube. Yep. Nobody wants to see here and watch progress bars that long, right? I didn't think so. You might notice I have four insulated gold cables and a basic machine casing. So one, two, three, four, and a basic machine, and zoinks, MFE. Nice. And uh, we should now have four more of you, which I'm going to turn into, as you might expect, one more of these dudes, compressor cook. Thank you. And the MFB is going to go upstairs. You ready? Uh, so this guy. And then we'll have, I guess these can be here. So what if we had an MFE upstairs um, that was getting charged from the kinetic wind generator? And some other things that I might want to do. So first things first. Let's put the MFE, because this is the power output side, right? So MFE goes there, and then we're going to have a little platform up here within which to do some work. So you can get power from this. What's our wind speed at? 26. Nice. So we should be getting almost 60 EU per tick. Not bad at all. I like it. 24 at the moment. Sweet. All right. So that's neat. So we're getting large amounts of MFE. So the other thing we can do, by the by, is the following. So let's put just a little bit of this stuff right here. Uh, now, if I recall correctly, a lever can be used, or a redstone signal to be more accurate. Uh, 
can be placed on the turbine itself. The kinetic generator? Okay. I could have sworn there was like a braking mechanism on these things. That must be no longer the case. Oh, it's kind of a bummer. I thought that would be true. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm using advanced item conduits. So, nobody panic. But basically, we're going to have item conduits go here. Uh, and you are going to be configured to extract fully charged crystals. And we're going to basically do in and out, right? So active the redstone for now. We're going to want to match metadata and MBT. That's fine. Let's drop down here. You are going to be in and out, and you are going to extract. And I, you know, I'm wondering if their sidedness actually matters, but we're going to find out in a second. Extract. Um, empty. Whitelist. Match. Match. So if I put you. Can't put you into the output. All right. Uh, let's get a chest just to test. I really hope this doesn't have to be like on the bottom or something crazy like that. It may need to be on the bottom. That's going to cramp my style. Just a touch. So what if we, instead of this, where's my this wrench? Anybody see that or did that thing just completely vanish? Uh, okay. Totally a bug. So what if we that and then that and then shift clicked that and then we would probably want, do we have any more gold cable? I think we do. I don't really want to do that. Can I combine these two? Nope. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but that's fine. Uh, then we're going to try this again. All right, that dropped an item. That's what I would have expected. So we could put you here, have gold, and then copper here. And this is our MFE. Cool. Now the MFE has an energy crystal in it. We're going to set you to extract. Always active. And you will be insert. And hopefully there's an energy crystal going in there. Extract, channel green, zero out of one of you, always active. Why are you doing this to me? Extract, make sure that that's it. Whitelist, always active. You are on insert, non-filtered, priority, doesn't matter. Nice, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, cool. Now, Pillar quartz block. Trying not to make a mess out of poor T Love's system here, but just because that was being derpy with the filtering, I just want to double check this. I'm assuming a freshly crafted energy crystal is slightly different than one that has had power at some point and then drained. So we're just going to test this again. Always active extract. 
Oh, it did extract. Neat. Okay, cool. So I didn't have to do all that mess. Let's undo that. All right, so just to be clear, uh, we're testing this again with me undoing everything I just did. And energy crystal goes in, energy crystal comes out. And when it's empty, it should just, presuming this is set to always active, go. Nice. Okay, cool. So next thing we're going to want is some more item conduits. Item conduits. That's enough for now. All right, I'm going to run a really long string of item conduits and we will be right back. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is toss this energy crystal in here and it should fill up pretty quickly and we've almost got it to the point where we've got a million EU in this thing. And that's just been running from however long. Now I do have a nifty idea, I think, personally, is my belief, and how to turn this thing off. Uh, and I'll show you that in just a minute here. Um, but for the meantime, let's get this thing fully full. 135, we'll be back in like a minute. So here's a thought, you ready? Um, what if I put a chest here? I'm waiting for that thing to fill. Uh, and we said this guy, east, in and out, west in and out on the east side we will extract with signal on the west side we will extract without signal rotor missing rotor in here rotor in so signal on rotor comes out wind turbines not running we're saving the rotor strength Signal off, turbine is running, we're not saving the rotor strength. How fancy fancy is that? Cool. Are you at a million? You're at a million, cool. So I just wanted to get in here. So this is going to be in and out, extract, always active, filter. Filter, 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 filter. Where's my filter? Oh, it's in there already. <laughs> Derp. Um, match metadata, match MBT, right? So in theory, I'm gonna drain some power here down to about 100. All right, that's good. So now we're going to fill it up. When it gets full, yoinked, and it's down here. Zoom! Crash. And it should be filling this thing up. Cool. Nice. I'm liking every bit of this. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge this dude, which is neat. And this is going to get pretty close to empty, but we're gonna to need to find a use for 100K EU in the next moment, because I want to very rapidly, what can I do? How about just some iron? That's probably sufficient. Let's get some more steel, shall we? Can't be a terrible plan. Slag comes out, steel starts cooking. We're probably using EU right now, right? Not as much as I would have hoped. The other thing I could do is a couple more diamonds. I could just have another crystal. Macerator. Zoink. So even one hit on the macerator is not enough to make it go too crazy. What? What? Where's all my power? And why is it not running? I think I know why. Nope, that's not MFE. Wait, that is it. MV transformer here, that's the problem. So that should get yoinked out. It's interesting, the MFE lost like some amount of power when I did that, which is weird. But that's okay. Now, if we went back outside, it should be recharging that dude. So all that's really left is to use a redstone signal like a comparator to determine when that thing's full. I think the MFE might be able to configure to emit a redstone signal when, yeah. Emit if full, emit if partially full, emit if partially filled or empty, emit if empty. 
we're just gonna say emit if full and we'll put some redstone on there and we'll test this out. So I'm gonna call this like pretty much a completed build right now. So what's happening is pretty cool, I think. So this should go over to here and this should work in theory. Um, the other thing I can do is red. Yeah, this might be a better route. East, in and out. Cool. So that should be cool. So like if I instead had this do emit if empty, see how the turbine goes away? So in theory, we want this to be emit if full, and then, yeah, cool, nice. All right, so wow, we're making 83 Uber tick at the moment. We've got an energy crystal filling up rather nicely, and downstairs, whoosh, that crystal is gonna be teleported straight on down, um, and right into here, which is awesome. I think that's a cool build. So I'm gonna call that completed. Um, for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and see how this worked out for us. Because in theory, it should work out pretty darn well. Um, we should see eventually this thing filled up and then basically the crystal's just gonna sit down here until uh, we start using power. Eventually, this one will fill up. And once this has filled up, it should take the rotor out of here. Cool. All right, guys. Take it easy.